At least the grass is growing again. You can thank Arthur for that. Who knew he had so much botanical knowledge? It still doesn't solve our problem, though. We're treating the symptoms, not the cause. Jack, I know we're already asking a lot from you, but... We're working around the clock trying to contain the wild animals in the reserve and keep them away from Snugford. Because of that, we don't have enough people to take care of the sick and wounded ones. Say no more. I'll handle it. You sure? What about the clinic? I'll have someone to substitute for me. Don't worry. Thank you, Jack. Snugford's lucky to have you. Hey, Jack. I brought you some food. Thought you might be hungry. Any progress? Still spinning our wheels, I'm afraid. Amy? Amy, slow down. What's wrong? Amy? Amy? Mwah! Okay, okay. Just stay there. I'm coming to get you right now. That was Amy. She and Lisa had to evacuate the ship before it capsized. Oh my gosh. Are they okay? They're safe. Back in Cape May. I'm heading there now. I'm coming with you. Come on. We'll pick Arthur up on the way. Welcome home. Welcome home. You'll find your mother, Amy. Don't you worry. She's a survivor. Jack. Jack, I'm so sorry about everything. Don't. You never need to apologize to me, Amy. All that matters is that you're safe. Home safe. Home safe. Ah. Now I think I've seen everything. Did Newton just give a biscuit away? He did miss you. Thank you, Newton. Jack, would you mind if I came to the reserve with you today? I want to help out. Amy, it can wait. I... You've just been through a pretty major trauma. And then there's Alice. That's exactly why I want to help. I need to get my mind on something else. Please? I'll be fine. I promise. Amy! Sorry to hear about your mom, Amy. Thanks. I'm happy you're here, but... I thought you were going to take it easy for a while. Snugford is my home. I can't sit idly by and watch it turn into a wasteland. She can do this. Trust me. Okay then. I'll bring you up to speed on how we've divided things up. All right. Let's go through all the theories again. It's got to be fungal. If I could get everyone's help to get more samples, we'd... It's got to be a toxin. Not in the water, but in the air, maybe? We should go audit all the factories and things around here to see who's emitting what. I still think we're dealing with a groundwater issue. The samples found nothing. We didn't dig deep enough. If you guys would help me do some drilling. Amy, you're coming at this with a fresh pair of eyes. What do you think? I don't see how there'd be an influx of groundwater here, especially in the summer. All the factories in town claim to be in compliance with environmental regulations. I suppose it could be fungal, but then I would have expected different results in the test you ran. I'm sorry, but I think we need to keep digging. We're still missing something critical here. That's another day gone, with us no closer to a solution. Let's take a break for dinner. We'll meet back here in an hour. You okay? Amy, Jack. Shira and the pups are alive. Alice must have managed to free them from the container. The salvage crew found them, swimming near the wreckage. Wait, they hadn't left the area 
to search for other dolphins? They stayed with the crew and followed them back to Cape May. Apparently, the small pup was too weak and scared to venture into the open waters. But they say she's going to be okay. She just needs a bit more time to grow strong. I just wish we could have done more to help. If only we had more time to prepare and train them. Maybe then they could have found a new home in the wild. You did all you could, Amy. The dolphins are alive, and that's what counts. Amy, Jack, they spotted them, Shira and the pups. They found a pod, and the dolphins there took them in right away. Shira and the pups are going to be okay? They're going to be okay. So it wasn't all for nothing. We did all we could to help them, and it worked. They found a new home. That definitely sounds like the best thing that could have happened. I'm so proud of you both. And hey, if the dolphins made it, there's still hope for Alice, right? There is. There is hope, Amy for Alice, for Shira and her pups, and for Snugford. On that note, what do you say we celebrate with some burgers and milkshakes at Emily's? Then get back to work. When did you say they started getting ill? About a week ago. At first it didn't seem serious. Only a couple of ponies were affected. We isolated them and had a vet take a look. But all of a sudden, all the other ponies started showing the same symptoms. Even Ginger. All except Ginger, that is. I wonder if the infection treatment had anything to do with that. Anyway, it's not serious. We can treat it with some mild antibiotics. But it's all because of that wildlife crisis. Everything's out of whack. The plant life is dying, which causes wild animals to migrate, which leads to diseases spreading to Snugford. And tell me, how's Ginger's leg? Oh, she's been running around all the time. No more problems. You saved her, Amy. Well, if anything else happens, let me know. I will. Thank you. Moles? Oh, these? Probably. I should talk with the gardener. You should call Arthur. Apparently, gardening is his new calling. Don't worry, Newton. A couple more weeks of diet, and you'll be back in shape. Wow, oh, Grandpa, the garden looks amazing. I see you finally made use of Grandma's old gardening tools. It was the right time, and I think I've actually found a hobby I'm good at. Grandma would have been proud. She would have been, wouldn't she? And then she'd have pointed out all the things I could have done better. I know Alice is going to be okay. I just know it. Good news. I just got off the phone with the Royal New Zealand Coast Guard. A fishing boat not far off the coast reported finding a castaway. They don't know if it's Alice or not, but there's hope. Of course it's Alice. Who else could it be? I don't want to sound negative, but it was a big storm. Didn't you hear what Arthur said? There's hope. I know what he said. I just think we should be prepared, in case. Please, everyone, stop. Let's just hope for the best, okay? Yes? 
I understand. Thank you. Is it... is it about Alice? Yes, I'm afraid it is. The castaway, picked up by the fishing boat. It wasn't her. And the Coast Guard has officially called off the search. I'm afraid there's nothing more they can do. I have some bad news, everyone. We all knew this was coming. The situation is getting worse by the day. Dying plant life, sick and migrating wild animals, both here and in Snugford. And we're all out of ideas. What happened, Ginny? I got a message from the mayor. If we don't show some real progress in the next 72 hours, we're going to be replaced. Then let's get back to work. All right, it's down to the wire now. We need to put everyone on this fungus theory of mine. Someone has got to be poisoning the environment. We just need to find them. I say we get some drills. Bigger ones this time. The answers lie below. Trust me. Ultraviolet radiation. That's what... Guys, that's enough. All of you. We can solve this, but only if we work together. I feel like we're going the wrong way about this. Well, we already tried. All the clues are here. I can feel it. This is pointless. We've been at this for weeks. And we're no closer to figuring it out than we were on day one. Heck, maybe they should fire us. Then they can find someone who can actually get to the bottom of this. Picture four blind people in a room with an elephant. Each blind person has hold of a different part of the elephant. Its trunk, its tail, its ears. Each, therefore, describes the elephant differently, confident that they are correct. What? Are we the blind people or the elephant? We need to look at the sum of the problem, not just its parts. I'm not sure how that helps us. Let's just put aside all our current theories. Let's assume they're all incorrect. If it's not fungal, environmental, toxin, or a water problem, what does that leave us with? Jack, have you seen Amy? She went back to the clinic already. Jack, listen. I know I'm no expert, but, I mean, I tried telling you guys this before, and... Crystal, I don't have time for this. Jack, just this once, please listen to me. Crystal, leave me alone. I told you, I'm busy. Fine, ignore me again. I'm just trying to help. You just don't care. No one does, apparently. Crystal, what are you doing here so late at night? I could ask you the same. I'm just trying to figure out this whole wildlife crisis. I feel like I'm so close to the answer. And yet... What's this? It's nothing. Nothing important. Just some useless research no one cares about. Holes in the ground? It's just... There were tons of these at the reserve right when the plants started dying. I saw the same holes at the orphanage. The ponies there were all ill. I have to check something. Amy? Jack, have you seen Amy? She went back to the clinic already. Jack, listen. I know I'm no expert, but, I mean, I tried telling you guys this before, and... I'm sorry, Crystal. You're right. I've been a bad friend to you. 
I know you're just trying to help. We shouldn't have ignored you. I shouldn't have ignored you. Thank you, Jack. So, as I was saying, it's these holes in the ground. I've never seen them out here before, and they're not wasp nests. Also, I did some research, and while they can mean a lot of things, they're nowhere else but here. Come to think of it, they did start to appear around the time this whole mess started. Let's find Amy and see what she thinks. So, what do you think? Could the holes be connected with what's going on in Snugford and at the reserve? As I said before, it doesn't seem very likely. They're just not out of the ordinary enough to cause concern. Come now, Walter. We need to explore every possibility here. I agree. There's something strange about these holes. I have to check something. Amy? I saw the same holes at the orphanage. The ponies there were all ill. Gotcha! It's the rabbits! The rabbits? What rabbits? Your rabbits, Walter! What? How is that even possible? You said it yourself! They were seized at an exotic animal farm, and some of them escaped. Yes, but they're not exotic. They're regular old Snugford rabbits, like we have everywhere. But they're not. They may look a lot like our rabbits, but we're dealing with a totally different species. Oryctolagus cuniculus. They're from Australia. I still don't get it. How could they possibly disrupt the whole ecosystem like this? They make these huge tunnel systems instead of dens. Hence, the lines of small holes Crystal noticed at the surface. They're omnivores, if you can believe that. And they even have a taste for tree roots. And they breed like crazy. They've been eating the insects and trees, stealing food from the local animals, and finally, they carry diseases in and out of Snugford, which is why so many animals got sick, for no apparent reason. This explains everything, Amy. You're right. Amy, you're a genius. It's Crystal who figured it out first. I just connected all the dots. If we can contain all the rabbits, the wildlife will have a chance to rebound. I'm sure of it. Let's get to work. What's wrong? I didn't feel my phone vibrating while we were working. Missed a call. Jack? I... I have to run. I'm sorry. I'll explain later. Jack, wait! Jack! Jack? I'm here, Mom. Don't be sad, Jack. I'm not afraid. I know. I'm more worried about you, Jack. You'll be alone when I'm gone. I'll be fine, Mom. I promise. You and Dad, you did good. I know. I know. I just wish you were settled. That's all. I'm more worried about you, Jack. You'll be alone when I'm gone. I have Amy, Mom. Remember? Oh, yes. I won't let her slip away. Not again. I promise, Mom. I know you won't. I can tell you've changed since you met her. Tell her I'm happy for you both. I will, Mom. There's a letter for you on the table. 
Yeah. Mom? Mom, I love you. I love you too, Jack. So you'll notice we've placed cages all over the reserve. We're going to do this humanely. Use the nets. Use the open loop poles. Then get the rabbits into the cages. Newton, we're going to need your help to herd as many of them towards us as you can. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bah. Good thinking. You could use the exercise. Figures you'd show up for the fun part. Where have you been? I'll fill you in tonight. I promise. Okay, everyone. We've got no time to lose. Let's get to work. Well? Well what? Are you going to tell me about these mystery trips to the city? I guess I'd better. My mother, she, um... She was in hospice in the city. I went there to visit her. She passed away yesterday. Jack, why didn't you say anything? I, I could have gone with you. She didn't always recognize me. Sometimes she was with me. Sometimes... Still, here I was worried about my mom and the whole time you were going through all that alone. I should have told you. It was just between you going to Cape May and then the South Pacific. I'm so sorry, Jack. I wish I could have met her. Yeah, me too. She... she left me this letter. I'm afraid to open it. We can do that together. I thought I'd find you here. Just going through some old photos. Look, there's one with you, Lisa. Sorry, I promised Newton we'd find one of him. There you are, Newton. Still a baby. I think it was your birthday. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Ah. She wouldn't have stayed on the boat if it wasn't for me. None of us would have been on that boat in the first place if it hadn't been for her. She did a brave thing. But it was her choice. It's not on you, Amy. Speaking of birthdays, I always wondered why you kept wearing that locket. I mean, the way you got it? It can't have been a happy memory. Look inside. Your mom and dad. The only time I ever saw them together when they weren't fighting was in this locket. I guess I could never really let go of them, even after all that happened. Do you think she's really gone? She's a fighter, right? Maybe we can find some other photos that bring back some happy memories too. Amy dear, cages are filling up all over the wildlife reserve. We haven't caught all the rabbits yet, but I think we're winning the war. Another few outings like this, and Snugford will be on the mend. That... that's Alice's number. Mom! Ah, it finally feels like summer. No kidding. Now that I still have my job, I'm thinking I need a vacation. I'm so glad this whole wildlife crisis is over. I still can't believe a couple of rabbits could have caused all this trouble. An ecosystem is a delicate thing. The smallest of changes can throw everything out of alignment. It's like the butterfly effect. 
We couldn't have done it without you. Amy, Jack, Crystal, you save Snugford. We did this together. All of us. To saving Snugford. To friendship. And family. Our big, wonderful family. Whiskit! Whiskit! We're going to miss you, Crystal. It's not going to be the same without you. It's been fun and all, but I have a life in New York to get back to. You'll visit us though, right? From time to time? Oh sure, I'll visit. Especially if something exciting happens. Jack, I'm really sorry about lying to you earlier. I was... I was already feeling like a failure. And I was so embarrassed. And... I get it, Crystal. Honest. I'm sorry for acting like such a self-righteous jerk. Friends? Friends. Well, it's done. I just bought a house. I'm officially moving to Snugford. Now I just need to find a good moving company. Well, before you run off to do your errands, consider this a belated birthday gift. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have. Crystal Upton, office manager. You, you're hiring me? Full time, and not just to help manage the front office, but for business development too. Jack told me all about what you did while I was gone. We both want you here. I don't think this clinic would make it without you. Ah, you guys. Oh, to heck with moving companies. Let's celebrate. <laughs> hey, we never got a chance to talk about Cape May. I went and found my birth mother. But how did you? I overheard you and Maria talking, and later on I kind of broke into her office and took a peek at my file. That's how I got the scent, anyhow. Oh, Lisa, I wanted to tell you, but... No, I'm glad you didn't. You promised Maria you wouldn't. She means the world to me. So, did you... did you find her? Yeah, I even spoke to her, but she has a family now, a husband and a daughter. I don't think there was space in her life for me as well. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're all the family I need. Is this where you work? Nope. I just spent some time volunteering here. It was my home once upon a time. Do you fancy having a tour? Yes. I'd like that too. In fact, I'd like you to show us everything. I want to know everything about you. Amy. Hi, Mom. Are you feeling any better? It's going to take me a while to get back up to speed after the incident, but I... I'm doing okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me, Amy. I missed you. Why didn't you just come to Snugford? Arthur's worried about you. Oh, I'm sure he's busy. And I... The truth is, I'm ashamed. I let him down. I let you down. And now, I've lost my job. 
I've been working with animals my entire life, but now, no. I deserve every bit of it after what I've done. Amy, do you think there's still a chance for me, for us? I, I think it's best if we spend some time apart, Mom. I can't just forget everything that's happened. You put everyone's life in danger. The dolphins, the crew, Lisa, my best friend, could have died because of you. If I could turn back time. It's Jack. I have to go, Mom. Call Arthur. He's worried about you. For what it's worth, I forgive you, Alice, but I'm not really sure how we can go on from here. I thought you were gone, really gone. I put you through a lot. You really need to talk to Arthur. He misses you. It's Jack. I have to go now, Mom. I love you, Amy. No, Newton. One per day. That's what we agreed on. No. No. Fine. Have another cookie then. We'll see how clever you are when Jack and Amy put you on another diet. Not hungry. Not hungry. What? Fast ending! Fast ending! Ah. You're right, Newton. Somehow everything worked out for the best, didn't it? Party! Party! Ah. All right! Hit it, Newton! Hey everyone! Party time! I'm in charge! I'm in charge! You've been pretty quiet, Jack. Anything wrong? Well, here goes nothing. I wanted to wait until things calmed down a bit. I thought about maybe having all our friends here to share this with us. But trying to find the right moment? I just don't want to wait any longer. I never want us to be apart again. Amy cares. Will you marry me? I... I... Join us every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for a new chapter. If you subscribe, you can be notified every time a new chapter is released. So just click on my picture down there. And, as with all creators, we at this channel love feedback. 
so consider liking or disliking our videos. And leave a comment, because Tiggers just love comments. Ta-ta for now!